take a look. Okay, so so what? So let, let's kind of go just a little bit about um, how this whole, you know, the, the, the kind of basically the the history behind Joseph and, and Emma coming there. Okay, so this is uh, let me let me get to a couple of uh, images here, and that is right there. So we got here. So this this is Chris Kimball at the Newell K. Whitney store. Now, Newell K. Whitney was a fairly, um, he was quite an entrepreneur. He had a, a thriving business here. It's kind of like a general store, if you will, of the Kirtland area. Uh, he was well-known, well-liked by, by by all accounts of the of the people who were in the area here. And he had this store. And um, and when Joseph Smith first came into town, the, the, the Lord said, to, you, you will go to the Ohio, <laughs> okay? It's kind of interesting. He didn't say the, he didn't say go to Ohio. He said go to the Ohio. Go to the Ohio. And uh, and so he left with uh, with Emma. They actually it was in the middle of the winter, so they took a sleigh. So they had a horse drawn sleigh, and they and they came up and they came into uh, they came into Kirtland there. They pulled up in front of the Newell K Whitney store, and it was of course it was you know covered with snow and everything. And uh, and and as the history goes, he uh, he 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 hopped down off of the uh, off of the sleigh. And opened the door to the store, and Noel K. Whitney and his wife was was uh, was was standing in the store, and he said, and he said, Noel K. Whitney, thou art the man. And Noel K. Whitney was kind of a little bit taken aback. He said, um, so "I'm sorry, sir, but I, 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 you know, you seem to know who I am, but I don't know who you are." And he said, "I'm Joseph Smith, the prophet. You've prayed me here. Now, what do you want?" Oh, wow. <laughs> Now, is this told by N.K. Whitney? Newell? Is this told by Newell? Or is this told I, 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 by I Joseph? I don't know which, uh, where the history actually came from, but I think it was Newell K. Whitney that actually uh, uh, that, 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 that talked about that was his, was the, his initial um, introduction to the prophet Joseph Smith. <laughs> you know? So then they began to build, uh, build, build Kirtland there. Um, I've got a couple of other images here. Let me show you a couple of those real quick. So this is uh, the, this is one of my tour groups here in front of the temple there. Um, the, and inside the Neil K. Whitney store is this this room, which is called this this the School of the Prophets later on. Yeah. Okay. So this is a tiny little room. It's actually the 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 front of the room. If I got another shot of that, there's, there's the there's these chairs here in the front. There's a little fireplace. If I go back to that one, you can see the the chairs the chair legs and that right there on the right hand side. This room is literally probably, I'd guess, maybe 10 or 12 feet by about 12 or 13 feet. I mean, it's just a tiny little room. And yet sometimes they would have up to about 15 to 20 guys in there. And there was one point in time um, when when Christ himself showed up in that room. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it always has been amazing to me as I've gone in there with my tour groups and so forth to uh, to consider that here, here, these guys were literally within arm's reach of of touching the Savior as he stood there in front of them in this little room, there in in the uh, uh, in, in the top of the uh, Whitney store. So um, I just think that's that's just fascinating stuff. There's another little bit, little bit better, wider shot of the Neil K. Whitney um, uh, store as it stood. Well, and side. and Carl Anderson has a playlist on uh, Doctrine and Covenant Central. That's really neat. Mr. Kirtland's testimony of Emma. He's got three videos. One is Mr. Kirtland's testimony of the prophet and the other is the savior and Kirtland. They are awesome. They're yeah. awesome. They kind of go along with his books and so forth there, but yeah. yeah. So, so then, so then this is, this is actually what the Joseph Smith and Emma home looked like. It's just, um, it's just down the street. Literally, it was a couple of houses. The church bought those houses and this one, and then they 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 uh, took down the other ones for parking, and then they uh, they have completely restored this house back to what it was originally when Joseph and Emma lived there. And uh, I I I was they didn't have time to to grab those get those pictures uh, pulled out for my tour pictures before we before we got going on the podcast here. Um, this is actually inside the the John Johnson farm. Um, so back to a little bit more more historical aspect of it here for a second. So uh, so we've got basically Joseph Joseph comes into town. He he meets up with uh, Newell K Whitney. Um, he's able to get a a place to stay 
with Isaac Morley on his farm, which is just about uh, two miles or so down the down the road from the current Kirtland Visitor Center. Um, that they, they were staying there. Uh, Emma was pregnant, um, and she gave birth to twins. Unfortunately, these twins did not um, make it. They they only lasted a few hours, and they both died, and just left Joseph and Emma in in a uh, in a state of yeah. of just you know despair and sadness at at, at the time. Um, and um, they 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 named them actually Thaddeus and Louisa, and they both they so they ended up burying them. But at the same time, there was a another uh, couple there, the Murdochs. As I think it was John and I think it's Lydia Murdoch um, that um, that uh, that she also gave birth to twins, and then she passed away in childbirth. So John Murdoch had these these um, these twins, and he's like, I, 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 how am I supposed to take care of these these little babies? And so he actually uh, gave them to Joseph and Emma, and they took them as their own. In fact, they actually named them. It was it was. Uh, uh, Joseph Murdoch Smith and Julia Murdoch Smith. Now Joseph, as a little as a, as a little baby, um, after they lived in the Isaac Morley farm for a little bit, they they moved over to John Johnson. Now John Johnson was a guy who has quite quite a wealthy guy. He had a very nice big farm, uh, one of the nicer bigger homes in the area, and uh, and he said, "Listen, I've got room." If you want to, you and Emma can come and stay with us up in our in, in our. In wow, our why am I getting so emotional about this? I'm sorry. Well, this is really making me emotional. It, Joseph and Emma had nothing. I mean, they they were they were so just desperately dirt poor, and uh, so that that's why I I find it just kind of amazing, really, that um, that the Lord would show Joseph this this huge edifice in vision, and 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 then, you know, I mean, you know, it's it's, it's kind of like my gosh, I mean, you know, this is this is really. Is it? It's going to be a huge sacrifice for these people, and in fact, it, and it really was. I mean, yeah, they had uh, the 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 people um, would donate a tithing. Basically, they would they, the the men would work for so many days a week, and then they'd work on the temple so many days a week. And the women would toil, and they would make clothing for the men that were the workers there, because a lot of them couldn't didn't even have money to buy clothing to wear. Um, some of the women actually, it, it's been said or understood that. Some of them actually took some of their fine china that they had brought with them, yeah, you know, and, and and so forth, and, and broke it up and crushed it. Yeah, into crushed it up, and, and you could actually put it on the outside of the temple right. to make it more shiny. Um, you know, this is this is a a massive undertaking of uh, of, of historic proportions for people like this, and then just within a couple of years after they get the temple done, it's like no, we have to move, we got to go, and a lot of people are really just like. No way. Plus, they, plus they had the Kirtland that, there was, Society. You, when you think about it, there was society that they, and it failed and yeah. lost money. And anyway, it these was were trials. Money. These were this was a sifting in a sense. The Lord yeah. wanted to have the 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 fittest, the spiritually fittest. You know, yeah. it's all are welcome. It, the gospel's for everyone, but not everyone can endure the. The tribulation, right? That's kind of, kind of funny because you know people like you know. I mean, I, I I'm not a as I think probably most people know. I'm not a big vaccine fan, but some people just go go to pieces and break like glass because of the whole vaccine thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, in, in comparison, well, it's pretty 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 uh, small potatoes, really. When it comes, you down know, it's to, right? because I know I was talking about this with you earlier off yeah. camera. I I said I didn't get it. You said you didn't get it. But it didn't bother us. We're just like, okay, prophet. Well, I'm not going to get it. Like I even tell people, if I if I was sitting with President Nelson, like let's say we were having lunch together, and I and I said, you know, remember the pandemic? And he's like, oh yeah, I remember the pandemic. <laughs> well, you know, prophet, I never ended up getting the vaccine. I don't think he would tell me to hand him his, my temple recommend or something. I think he'd be like, all right. Are you gonna have a salad? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I, 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 you know I, what I mean, though. I, hate, I, I mean, I hate to even, I hate to even, you know, venture a guess. But my my thought would be, he would ask, "Did you ask?" Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's and, gonna. You know, and and uh, and my thought was, well, yeah, that, that that's the reason why I chose what I did. You know, I mean, yeah. you, you've you you have told us, <laughs> President, to. Uh, 
to, uh, to, to, to have this relationship and to get to the point where we can actually receive, you know, our own uh, personal revelation, personal revelation. Right. And uh, if we, if we're taking you seriously about that, then we, then we should ask. Right. And I yeah. asked, and that's been the answer that I got. Now, other people have asked, and they got a different answer. That's then that's fine with me. I, I I don't have any problem with that. But but I, the I point you're making is, is is back then that yeah, this is they had different trials, right? I mean, so right. I, I think that we have a hard time. In fact, I want to talk about that in just a second because one of the guys, I kind of one of my personal heroes, if you will, was 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 John Tanner. A lot of people don't know who John Tanner is or who he was or whatever, but I did. I should. It, would you like to? Should I tell you a little bit about what what the the, the connection with John Tanner and the Kirtland Temple? Yes, <laughs> yes, but I know some of it myself. But go ahead. Yeah. So uh, so well, well, I probably should finish. So ap after John or after uh, Joseph Smith and Emma lived in John Johnson's farm for a while, um, there. By the way, there were several revelations there. A uh, couple times that the, the Christ came actually to that room there. This is this is a, let me tell you a couple of pictures of the John Johnson farm if I can do that real quick here. So this is inside the John Johnson farm. It's a, it was a big beautiful uh, home for the day. Um, let me see here. Let's see. Let's go to this. Um, this is the, the, the John Johnson was a very um, uh, well read. You know, he 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 knew the scriptures and he was a very uh, active as far as being a, a christian and so forth this is he uh, this he he recognized the gospel pretty much right off and was, was uh, fairly quickly uh baptized into the church uh this is just uh shows some of the uh, the old uh, inkwell and things like that the old desk here this room is actually one of the rooms where where christ also appeared to joseph smith uh, on, on a couple different occasions and several revelations were received in this room. They call this the revelation room there in John Johnson's farm. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the outside of the house here. Uh, today, that stoop or that the the, uh, the stairs coming out of the, 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 the house there, actually Joseph Smith delivered sermons several times on the actual piece of stone that's still there today. So that's not concrete. That's actually the, 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 that step is a stone step. Wow. Smith actually would stand on that step and deliver sermons. So this is the uh, this is another picture of that area there. He had the, what they called the Bowery. That's see, that's that you can see this the the big the big stones here. So these are actually cut stones here. This is the door that the mob act, had to enter when they came in um, and and attacked Joseph and Emma in the middle of the night. These uh, these uh, these um, these ruffians came in there, right? Um, and then they dragged Joseph Smith out of his bed and, and, and took him out and tarred and feathered him right out here, right? They also took, I think it was, was it Parley Pratt? Um, well, and, and that's when their adopted twins were sick too, right? Yeah, the adopted twins were sick and the one died shortly yeah. thereafter. They don't know for sure if it was because of that, but they think it might have been a contributing cause of the death of... of, uh, of now, was this the same people. time, this wasn't the same time they tried to give him poison where his tooth was chipped? Yeah, yeah. This okay. is the same time where basically, so they dragged him out. They they uh, they they uh, tarred and feathered him. Um, some of the tarred and feathering things, you know, the, the images and so forth. That they have this like you know hot boiling tar that they pour on them, and then they put these feathers. Actually, if they did that, um, it they would, would have probably died. die from third degree third degree it was, burns. Right? It was probably warm enough to spread on their body. Yeah, but it would but, but it wouldn't be boiling hot or that kind of thing. Yeah, the it humiliating was part was the removal. Thing. And yeah, yeah right. It, it, it wasn't to try to kill someone. It was to try to intimidate them to make them knock it off or stop or whatever. Right. And, uh, and so forth. And then, yeah, the, the, as they were dragging him out, there was one of the guys that was, that had a hold of Joseph Smith's leg, apparently. And remember, Joseph Smith is a pretty big guy. Now, I'm six foot four. He was about six foot three. You know, he was. Was uh, he six foot three? I thought he was six foot. He, he, he's I, there's there's different accounts nobody i mean nobody knows for sure but the, right i've heard you know six foot three Hiram was about six feet okay he was just a little bit taller I think, and back like, then like, most men yeah. were like five eleven so that was per, well, well five nine five, seven five eight actually most yeah so these so they, guys they were, were giants these guys were well, giants they, were, they, were, they weren't huge but they were big for you well know, they were, you, they were, yeah they're on the and the 90th percentile <laughs> you, know, <I'm> <laughs> you want to put it that way 
but uh, but uh, but also you have to understand that somebody who can pull sticks really well, like Joseph Smith was known to be, you know, a, a, a stick puller, you know, extraordinary. Yeah. Um, that's not just about strength. It's also about having some pesante. I mean, you had to have some weight behind you too. I, 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 I learned that firsthand. Uh, we were in, on a, uh, on a, on a hand cart trip, um, the, uh, you know, in, in, in here in Wyoming, basically. Right. And, uh, and and anyway, there's a guy in our ward, probably about oh, 330 or 40 pounds, big guy, right? Strong guy. And, I, and I'm you know about 6'4", and at the time, probably about 250 or so, right around in there. And he could throw me like a rag doll <laughs> in a stick pulling contest. So uh, so that so Joseph Smith was a pretty <laughs> big guy. In fact, in, in the Nauvoo period, he was there was one account that said he was a little bit portly. And right. in fact, take a look at some of his portraitures that they had when he sit down and take a, a, a portrait he, he'd gotten you know he was he was a good sized guy anyway the point is is that uh, they were dragging him out of this of this doorway here and uh and and he reared back basically and gave this guy a kick so hard it knocked a couple of his uh it, i think it knocked a couple of his teeth out or something and he, and he said that he uh he never he never felt somebody kick like a mule like that and Joseph Smith was uh, really a, a powerful guy, and then they, they also tried to force some uh, some poison into his mouth, which actually broke one of Joseph his chipped one of his front teeth off, and he always had kind of a little whistle right he would speak after this. But the next I day, I think he, he even had there, a cut. He, was out there he had a cut really on out. one of, part of. I think he had a cut on his lip too. Yeah, pro I'm sure it probably did. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so. They also took, uh, I think it was Parley P. Pratt, and they drug him behind a horse for about a quarter of a mile. And he was actually never really quite the same after that. He was, I um, can't remember, I don't, I don't think it was, maybe it wasn't Parley P. Pratt, but it, I can't remember now who exactly it was. But uh, but he was uh, pretty messed up. It, he never did re fully recover from that. Right. Um, but anyway, so this is the Bowery site here. So you can see, um, you know, Joseph would stand there and then they had this kind of a, a, a wooden structure with uh, limbs and stuff over the top to kind of provide some shade in the summertime because it gets hot and humid back there. And uh, so this is the Bowery site basically right there where that would have been at the time of Joseph Smith. Now, just to finish up what you were saying, uh, yeah. the next day, a lot of people don't know, Joseph preached a sermon after they removed all the tar and feather off of him. As and a lot of could. people don't realize a lot, a lot of those men that were in that group that pulled him out were members of the church yeah, yeah. Some, of, some of them were there the next day because they they, they shouted yeah. when they when they when they were leaving after having turned and feather and says you won't you won't be preaching again or you won't be or, or, no you won't be preaching tomorrow i think is what the right the and, and, and he was like nope i'm determined we're gonna we're, i'm gonna be teaching tomorrow so he well did. and he called some of them out didn't he he's like uh, there's some not at the time he actually was pretty pretty uh well, what I mean is, didn't he say something like, there's some men here that were part, who knows? We know that there were some men there, right? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, and most of it, most of what I'm going for him is either from church history or from the the film that shows that, that was produced by the church. And I'm assuming that they got it, you know, pretty close to right. So right. I don't, I don't recall that he actually ever called them out. He gave a, a beautiful sermon, apparently, is what, the, by all accounts, and, uh, and a lot of the men were pretty ashamed by what they had just done the night before. Uh, it was actually Sidney Rigdon that was. Oh, Sidney uh, Rigdon was the one that got. Yeah, he was dragged the by the horse, and he yeah. was he was dragged out with Joseph, and uh, he he had enough after that. He was like, um, yeah, yeah, done. Sidney Rigdon. But uh, you know, the, the, he he was one of the, uh, the the guys that really brought in a lot of people into the church that his his congregation that he had. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he was pretty messed up. Yeah, I, I knew it was part, wasn't Pearly Pete Pratt because Pearly Pearly played a, a, a lot bigger role later on in the church too. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, so this this is a, again the, the, a fuller shot of the temple. That those huge windows there are just beautiful. Um, they were also unique at the time uh, because you know windows were expensive and uh, and 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 so they uh, most homes had very small. Um, windows just big enough to just get some light into a room. These actually fill those rooms with sunlight. It's just beautiful when you go in there. They're just they're just huge huge windows. Now up on the top, so there's actually three levels, 
Okay, you got the, the, the biggest the biggest room is in the bottom, of course. Then you have the second level, which is that second row of windows. And then up at the top, John Smith had some small offices and some things up there. Um, being six foot four, I couldn't hardly stand up in most of that space up there, except for right underneath the main the main pitch of the roof. Okay, the the, the main beam coming across there. Right. Um and uh, and and when you do tours. Um, they wouldn't let because my tours usually had you know 40, 50 people there. And if you had more than 10 or 15 people, you you couldn't go up to the upper floor because the uh the floor is so weak <laughs> that you get 10 or 15 people up there and you could be ended up uh coming through it. So I'm sure that the church will uh will will reinforce that and get that all um back up to up to up to shape here in short order. Now in, in Kirtland, there's also this is called the, this is the sawmill. This is down in the lower portion of town. Um, they had a, they had a sawmill that they that they set up here. They had an ashery which would produce. They would take their ashes from their fires fireplaces and so forth. They would they 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 wash it and they make it into a kind of a liquid. Then they boil it down into a uh, into kind of a plaster material that they could be used for all kinds of fine china and and uh, glass making and other other kinds of things. They, it was a big business actually. And uh, this is uh, little Kate Whitney actually set these things up for the saints to be able to do it. There's, there's a, a picture of the sawmill going on there. Uh, it was actually a working sawmill. They actually. So this be, is all, has this been revamped? Or is that some of the original wood? Most of well, that's the, all original? All this was taken down. This is all, this is all revamped. Um, okay. That the church has put up there so you can kind of see what the originals looked like. Again, that's the Neil K. Whitney store with one of our uh, with one of our tour groups there, and there's a tour group saying goodbye, <laughs> okay, <laughs> or hello, whichever it is. Okay. Anyway, so that's enough about that. Let me stop the share here, and we'll go back. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So. By the way, when you're talking, I'm also taking. I'm leaving notes on my phone for editing purposes so if you see me looking yeah. down i'm listening you bet no problem 